Hello and welcome to the second part of the InDesign table tutorial. If you missed the first part, you can click here and watch it. Today we're going to talk about how to use tables to create little boxes that can contain content like this, for example quotes or some math or programming stuff. And on the next tutorial over here, we're going to talk about how to use tables for pictures. But let's get started with our boxes today. Let's go! We start by creating a new master page and we call this table box template. On this page we will store all our boxes we are using in the text. We first need to create a new text frame that can hold our tables and we copy some text to play around with. We are using a table as a box and our table should have two columns because if we use it for a mathematical formula we always want to have a numbering on this side as well and we need the extra column for this. Go on OK and create your table. As always we want to use a table style. We are going to create a new one and call this box. Next we want to define a new color for our border. So we go to the colors panel and we set the opacity of the black to 30% to get a gray. And by right clicking on this bar here you can go and add to swatches and you add this color to your swatches. Black 30%. Now we take care of the table style. You go and edit and then here in table setup you define the spacing before and after the table. 7 and 2 millimeters should be fine. Next we take care of the cell styles. We first going to define the left column. That should have a big thick line here and no lines on the other sides. We call this one box left cell in strokes and fills. We want to set it to 0 PT. Triple click in here and then select the left stroke and set it to 5 PT. The color should be black 30%. Click on OK. Then we define the style for the right column. We call this one box right cell. In the strokes and fill we set the thickness to 0 PT and click again on OK. We need to go into our cells menu and get rid of the previous formatting by this button. And now we see we get the stroke on the left side. I can paste some mass in here and I'm going to change the paragraph style to our font. And now you see it's not very well aligned with the rest of the box. I'm going to increase the insets. We can do this in the cell styles. We start with the left cell, go on edit, text, and let's set 3 millimeters on each side. Now I'm going to deactivate the chains and I will increase the indent on the left till it's aligned with the text. I will choose the same indent on the right. We go on OK and we will add a 3 millimeter indent to the right cell as well. Let's open up a new folder for our box and we create a new paragraph style and call it mass. On the right side we want to have some numbering like this and we move it further to the right. Imagine we would further develop this calculation. We would add a second line. And then we would also need to add the number. However, it would be really nice if we could have the numbering in here automatically in dynamic. So if you would have like say 10 different formulas and then you would delete one in between that the numbering would change automatically. We can do this by creating a separate paragraph style for these numbers. Let's create a new paragraph style and call it mass numbers. 
and we want to have it based on mass. In here we want to go to bullets and numbering and we want to have numbers. Again we need to define a new list. We call it box mass and click on OK. And then here we add some brackets and we can click on OK. Now we delete the old one and you see if we apply mass numbers and, and we have nothing written at all, it doesn't show up. So we need to hit the space bar to get the spacing that the number shows up. And we do the same thing for the line below. That is our mass box. And the really nice thing is that we actually can link to those numbers in the text. So if you would explain this calculation in the sentence, we could put a reference to this too. We would go on hyperlinks, create a new cross reference, pick the mass numbers box style, choose formula 2 and use paragraph number as a format. We click on OK and if we would change the numbers over here by inserting some more lines, we could update these numbers as well. One last thing with mass formulas, we should always use the table we have here as a template and it's also stored in the master page because in our style the distance of the two columns is not defined and we always want to have the same column width in our thesis. So if we copy the whole thing, every time we need to use a formula, we will have a nice consistent layout of our box over the whole thesis. The next type of box we want to create is for quotations. We're going to copy the old box and paste it in here. And we only need one line, so we can delete this row and just stretch the box so it fits to the page. We can delete this as well. And we just will copy some part of the text as our quote. Something like this. We need to add, of course, the source of our quotation. Let's just say Bob 2006. And we can also add quotation marks. To give the whole thing a good style, we should create a new paragraph style for this as well. We call this quotation. We need to get rid of the indent in the beginning. Set this to zero and go to redefine style. And then I would like to have the whole text italic. I will select the first paragraph and assign the character style italic. This looks all right. And we can go to our last box that is for programming. We will copy this box. And get rid of the first line. And then we also replace this line with some programming stuff. However, we want to change the font to, for example, Monaco. to get the same distance between each letter. And also the size is a little bit big, so we reduce the size and also put the spacing on auto. We should define a new paragraph style for this as well. So we click on new and call this one programming. We would still need to add some color in here to make it more readable. But we can do this automatically, but this will be something for another lecture. We're using grab styles for this. Finally, we need to do some cleaning up because this will be our template. We delete the text between. And there you have it. Nice boxes that you can use for your thesis. If I would now want to use the box, I can copy it. Go to the page with the thesis where I want to use it, paste it in, make sure you have a return over here, and then copy some quote, for example, 
and again apply the italic font. And there you go, that's it for today. In the last and final table video I'm going to show how to add a table to give this picture a really nice layout. If you want to watch the video you can click here and watch it.